Welcome to the channel friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Lux Pro programmable digital thermostat and this model here is the TX9600 TSA. And we're going to be going over the manual override options. Uh, there's a couple. And um, I'm going to be doing a couple videos on certain aspects of this thermostat uh, that you guys might find interesting. So I'll also be covering factory reset, setup menu, and full programming of the device. But right now we're going to focus on manual override. Uh, if you want to just temporary override the set point or the schedule, um, this is how you would do it. So as you can see here, we have the touch screen display of the thermostat. So what you want to do is actually use the up and down arrow and make sure you're in heat or cool when you do this. So you want to be in, actual, in an actual mode and then go ahead and adjust your temperature. We're in heat, so we're going to adjust the temperature for 75. As you can see here, it says heat override. And this is going to override the set point on the program until the next scheduled time period. And then it's going to continue back into whatever that is. So this is only a temporary override. If you want to hold 75 degrees all week long, all day long, whatever the case is, you want to come, come in here and dial in 75 or whatever temperature you want and hit hold. Make sure it says heat hold and then hit next. So now it's going to hold it indefinitely and it's going to basically uh, stay on 75. So until you come back over here and manually override this again, or you hit the hold button and release it, it's going to stay in 75 degrees of a set point. So I went ahead and hit hold, and now it's going to go, it went back to the, the default program uh, set point. And now it's all set. I didn't have to hit next, but you can hit next if you want. Same thing happens. It just times out and goes back to the normal display. Now, there's also another way of doing this, and uh, it's also using the setback screen. So if you go into menu, and you scroll over, temperature setback, you hit OK, and then here you can dial in the amount of duration of hours you want it to hold the setback temperature. So we're gonna put two, two hours, and we're going to dial in 75. And we're going to hit next. And as you can see here, now it's set up in a setback mode, which is doing essentially uh, the same as a temporary override, but it's only going to do it for the allotted hours that we chose. So it was two hours at 75 degrees. And it's going to tell you right here how many hours left. It's going to scroll through that. I don't know if you saw that. It says two hours left for the override. And that's how that works. So that's a third option. Now, to get out of this mode, we're going to go ahead and hit hold. And hit it one more time to, to release it and then hit next. And now you can see there is no hold. It just says heat mode and it's following the Sunday night schedule. Whoops. Let's back out of that. So it's going to be following this Sunday and the night schedule. That's how you know it's in the program versus it being in some kind of hold or temporary hold or setback. Now, there's a fourth option that makes this into a standard non-programmable option which means you just have a two button function and that's it. There's no programming involved. And that relies on you. Well, first I'm gonna switch this to off. Okay, and I'm gonna open this up here, flip the backside off. Now, this is gonna be covered in, in depth in my, uh, my next video, but I'm gonna show you really quick what happens here. So you're gonna have on the dip switch here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a set of dip switches. We're going to want number two, which is the type, the, the, the system type. It's going to say manual or program. 
So you're going to flick that dip switch so it's on the manual side, the manual setting. Now when we do that, the problem is you're going to have to flick the switch, hit hardware reset, so it's going to reset the device. Now this is going to delete the actual uh, configuration and you're going to lose your time. So as soon as we turn this back on, let's go back in here and check for the time. Okay, so we actually don't need the time because we're in manual mode. Now we're going to have just two buttons here. You see how we just, it's a very simple display. It removed a whole bunch of stuff from the display here that's available. And now we just simply dial in 75 and hit next. And that's it. A simple two button operation. Now we're going to come down and go to 73. You don't even need to hit next. It's going to automatically lock that in. So it's a simple manual style two button thermostat at this point. No more programming needed. And it's as simple as can be right now. Um, it's nice that you can actually turn this into a manual thermostat versus having to deal with the programming. So that's always a, a nice option for people. Um, very simple display now. There's not a lot of stuff going on. And the same thing happens for cooling mode. It's going to be your same thing. You switch the cooling and dial it in to 74, 73. And it's going to hold 73 as a set point. So that there is the manual operation of the programmable thermostat, how you can default it to a two button system and that's it. Uh, but that covers four different ways guys of turning this into a manual override. Um, very simple to use, very large display, easy to read. And um, please check out my other videos on factor reset, setup menu and full programming of this device. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.